So back early in my freshman year of college, an astronomer who worked on Hubble came and spoke uh, at my school. So naturally, I went and I I annoyed her for way too long post talk. And before she left, she uh, gave me this really nice lithograph photo thing of star cluster Westerlund 2, which was like the 25th anniversary image released by uh, NASA to commemorate Hubble, uh, just doing its thing, and it was so gorgeous, and I finally got around to, to painting it the other day, and it took me about like seven hours, so I'm just gonna skip through through a lot of the process just to get through it. Uh, but the thing about images from Hubble is they are really any any image from NASA is that they're just, just so gorgeous uh, and beautiful and awe-inspiring that it's easy to just see that and see something beautiful and be like, wow, that is out there in outer space. Neat. Uh, but then just kind of skip by what it actually is, which is to me the coolest part. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you what this is. So what I'm painting is something called a star cluster. So the way stars are born is in something called a nebula, which is a big cloud of gas and dust, and all that gas and dust separates out into these little individual clumps, and those clumps uh, become new stars. And because they're all formed in that cloud around basically the same time, they all kind of stay together in this big cluster bound together by their own gravity and in open clusters like the one I'm painting here these stars are pretty much all orbiting each other about 3,000 of them in this cluster in particular not in a flat plane the way we think of planets orbiting the Sun but all at different angles up and down and distances from each other all in this big huge cluster uh, and over time star clusters tend to disperse outwards we can see that in uh, things like the Pleiades, if you're familiar with the Seven Sisters of the Pleiades, that's an open cluster as well. But we can tell this one is pretty young since all of those stars are still very close together. Uh, the thing I've been painting for the majority of this painting, though, is the gas cloud of hydrogen uh, from which these stars were born. I don't actually paint the stars till like the end, so you're just gonna see me mostly paint that that cloud of hydrogen. Uh, and it's actually being worn kind of backwards away by the radiation and stellar winds of the biggest stars in in that star cluster. And that gas cloud is just so nice to look at. Um, it's just so dynamic and colorful. Kind of reminds me of the way water splashes up or like a like a soft flame coming from a bonfire but uh what's so cool to me uh, is how huge this thing is just one of those little pillars i'm probably painting right now or soon um that's kind of pointing towards what will be the star cluster is at least like a few light years in length uh, the star cluster cluster itself um, it says on the back of the lithograph it measures 6 to 13 light years across, uh, and it's about 20,000 light years away. Also, uh, for reference, one light year is 5.9 trillion miles. So yeah, um, I think there is some real, true value in being aware of all that information and also just seeing how dazzlingly gorgeous it is. Um, but that's kind of just, just how I feel about stars and astronomy uh, in general. So uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. I love this painting. It's maybe the nicest thing I have, I have ever painted, and I'm glad I got to film it and, and talk about it a little bit as well. So uh, thanks guys. Uh, see you next time. So I think that it's done. I'm so excited about this. It's so pretty. Wow.